So where are we headed now? We are heading to a community rally. There was a gentleman that had been actually involved in gang intervention um, with the community. You know, he was really at the, the ground floor of the movement for peace in the city of Compton. And he was murdered actually at a vigil in Los Angeles. I'm Beverly. Nice to meet you, Beverly, Asia Brown. He was working with us to, to stop the violence, so I really pray that this is not in vain and that people will step up and do what they're supposed to do. All my brothers and sisters out here, it's time to wake up and realize if you are crippled or blood, your movement is revolution. That means change. That do not mean murder and violence. The Bloods and the Crips came up here on Compton streets. The city would eventually become home to 65 different gangs. In 1991, Compton had the highest per capita murder rate in the country. But the city's youngest ever mayor, 33-year-old Asia Brown, is determined to change that image. We have to come up and say we're not going to allow this to continue to happen in our community. And She's taking gang members off the streets and putting them back to work in their community through her gang intervention program, Compton Empowered. That's what former gang member Daryl Shadow Hines was doing the day he was killed. This is his vigil. I'm The city's notorious public image was solidified with the release of N.W.A.'s gangster rap album Straight Outta Compton. They were from these streets and they were making music about it. What's ingrained in people's minds is 30 years ago with the height of rap music and violence and all of those things, but Compton has matured and it's evolved just like the artists that have really made Compton iconic in the way that it is today. But those problems still exist today in Compton. Absolutely. There's still violence. Um, there's, there are still shootings within the community, like every community. But at the same time, the level of homicides have gone down nearly 60% in just one year. And we haven't spent any more resources on law enforcement. Compton's shrinking homicide rate stands in stark contrast to cities like Baltimore, New Orleans, Chicago, or St. Louis, where murders are up nearly 62% compared to last year. Just one year ago, I asked could we get all the, the gang members that are representative of different um, neighborhoods together for a meeting and we met right here in this building right here in this community center and we talked about you know is, is peace possible because the power is in their hands to stop the, the violence and the shootings and so they made a commitment to work together for peace stop the violence increase the peace stop the violence and increase the peace stop the violence what is the sacrifice do you think for people to get involved in this People have, have built lives invested in, in gang activity or the structure of gangs, that, that becomes their family. So some people are, are walking away from you know, what they consider to be their families for you know, their whole lives to, to go in a new direction. We've had instances where people have literally been enemies their whole lives and now they're working together hand in hand. So it's, um, it, it's beautiful, but it, it's difficult and it's, it's service, I think, at the heart of it all.